We're gonna start today's episode off at the Commons, at Calabasas. Hey guys, TVG here reporting from Calabasas, California, in Los Angeles County. As of today's recording, it's May 19th, 2023, at around 6 a.m. In today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on the sudden tragic death, the cardiac arrest, of the celebrity singer-songwriter Lisa Marie Presley best known for being the only child of the king, the king of rock Elvis Presley Lisa Marie Presley was born on February 1st 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee and she died right here in Calabasas on January 12th, 2023 which would have made her 54 years old at the time of her death and that was only about five months ago and I'm going to take you over to the house that her son committed suicide two years ago, which sent her on her downward spiral. And then I'm going to trace her steps for the last two days of her life after she was seen in, in Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee, giving a speech at her father's birthday party, which would have made him 88 years old on January 8th. And four days later, she's found dead. And then two days after that, she was seen in Los Angeles stumbling around, not doing that great at the Golden Globes in Beverly Hills at the Beverly Hilton. Two days before she was found dead. And then I'm gonna take you to the house where the paramedics were called. And they found her unresponsive. And finally, I'm gonna take you over to the hospital in West Hills where she was pronounced dead. Let's take a look and see what we can find. Okay guys, I'm here at a gated community on a street called Alexandria Court, and this is where Benjamin Kehoe, Elvis Presley's grandson, and Lisa Marie's firstborn child, son, committed suicide by shotgun to the mouth. And I'm gonna show you the house at the end of the cul-de-sac. And this family has been riddled with drug and alcohol abuse. She was living in this house with her four children. So it was Lisa Marie Presley, her son, Benjamin Kehoe, actress Riley Kehoe, and then she had two twin daughters from her, her fourth marriage. So she was living here for two years before she was dead. After he committed suicide, they sold the house six months later and she found the rental house on a different part of Calabasas. This is the south side of the 101 freeway and where she was found dead at her rental home two years later was on the north side of the 101 freeway. And they were living here. She was gonna give it a go on her own with the four children. And she was battling a lot of drug abuse and alcohol abuse on and off through her career and her life. But Benjamin Kehoe was Elvis Presley's 
first grandson, and they said he looked just like him. His middle name was Storm. There was a joint party going on for his family members, and they found him using cocaine and alcohol, and he committed suicide by putting a shotgun into his mouth and pulling the trigger. And everyone was at the party was telling him, please don't do it. They were screaming, his girlfriend and other people, but he did it. And he committed suicide at the party and he must have been battling with some demons, you know? After her son died, it impacted her life so much. It shattered her world. I mean, losing her firstborn. So then they sold the house and she ended up rekindling her relationship with her, her first husband, Danny Kehoe. And they both live together now and rented the house where she was found dead. So I guess she didn't trust herself anymore. And she didn't know what was going on. And she was spiraling out of control. And she was free falling. And she was losing everything. I'm gonna show you the house, but I wanna be discreet. People are sleeping. And I got through the gated community. And not a lot of people has ever have been to this house. In America, definitely in the world or YouTube because no one's come up here. No one can get in the gated community. It's that house right there at the end, guys. The white one in the middle. That's where Benjamin Kehoe committed suicide. Lisa Marie Presley's firstborn son. Lisa Marie Presley's son committed suicide on July 12, 2020. And he was only 27 years old. Okay guys, I'm here, I'm outside the house. This is where Benjamin Kehoe, Lisa Marie Presley's firstborn son, Elvis Presley's grandson, committed suicide. Okay guys, I'm here in Beverly Hills at the Beverly Hilton. And this is where the Golden Globes was being held on January 10th, 2023. And Lisa Marie Presley was here with her mother, Priscilla Presley, and they were supporting the biopic feature film entitled Elvis, starring Austin Butler and directed by Baz Luhrmann. And they were up for awards and they, Priscilla and, and Lisa Marie Presley were in complete support of the film. They thought it was the, the greatest depiction they've ever seen of Elvis Presley. And Austin Butler won the Golden Globe that night. She was on the floor. She, she couldn't believe it. He thanked Lisa Marie Presley and Priscilla Presley. So when he got the award that night, they cried. Priscilla Presley and Lisa Marie Presley cried because they were so proud of him because they were so proud of the film. The timeline goes as follows. On January 8th, Lisa Marie Presley was in Graceland for her father's 88th birthday, giving a speech on January 8th, 2023. And January 10th, 2023, she was here at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. And two days later, she's found unresponsive and dead of an overdose in a rented 
Calabasas Mansion. And I'm gonna take you over there now. Let's continue. Okay guys, I'm outside the Mont Calabasas Estates, right here in Calabasas, Los Angeles. And this is where Lisa Marie Presley was found unresponsive on January 12th, 2023, at around 10.30 a.m. The paramedics were called, and there was nothing they can do. So this was the final and last home on the other side of the 101 freeway on the north side we're up in the hills now so she wanted to be away from the city and get some peace of mind and some safety behind some gated walls and she was living in a mansion off the grid pretty much but it's still in Calabasas up in the hills all the way in the middle of nowhere. It's a very private gated estate. I don't think I'm gonna get into the estate to see the house. But as you can see, it's up in the hills. It's a multi-million dollar mansion and they were trying to get away. She was trying to get away. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get to see the house up close and personal. This might be as close as I possibly can get, guys. But this is where Lisa Marie Presley was living with her first husband, Danny Kehoe. And her daughter, Riley, and her two twins from her last fourth marriage, the girls. So she was living with her three daughters. Danny Kehoe lived in the house. She claimed they were best friends for life. And after she lost her son, she was doing anything she could to try to raise these kids, the twins, give them a normal life. She was born into this world as Elvis Presley's daughter. And whether she could sing or not, she was going to give it a try, or give it a go. Lisa Marie was a hard worker. She worked very hard on her talent. She had three studio albums, and her first one sold over 500,000 copies. It went gold. By the last one, she started to get really talented. She worked on her craft so hard, and she was so passionate that she got better. And each time she got better, and she started to get really good. And she actually started to sound like her dad a little bit. And when her son took his own life, at age 27 committed suicide and the way he did it you can't get much more violent than the way he committed suicide and he was only 27 years old when he died it ripped her heart out she couldn't recover from that it sent the shockwave through the family she didn't know what to do. She wasn't working on herself. She didn't have a support group. She didn't have no one to turn to. And she relied on her own devices. And she ended up using drugs again. She had no defense mechanism. She had no one looking out for her. No one who knew what was going on. It was her little secret. She wasn't going to tell anybody. She couldn't beat this addiction. She was a strong, passionate woman, but she couldn't beat the addiction. No money in the world. Didn't matter how much fame she had or who she was, but the addiction has no barriers. The addiction will find you wherever you are. 
and she was on a downward spiral. And she got back together with her first husband, Danny Kehoe. And they moved in here. Far away. All the way up in the hills. So you can't find them. Because the drugs were flowing. And she couldn't stop. And she thought she was invincible. Because she was Elvis Presley's daughter. The king of rock. The king. It didn't matter because her addiction was too much for her and she couldn't handle it and she took one last hit and she thought she could get away with it but the addiction was moving faster than she was getting better. It was like two parallel lives. It was like her addicted life and her talented life her singing and songwriting music career. And it was like, which one's gonna win? Well, we all know you can't beat drug addiction without abstinence and getting some sort of support group or help. She didn't know she was gonna be taken out. She just wanted to have a good time from the night before. She was up all night and she stayed up and she figured I'll do a little more cocaine. But it was laced with, with fentanyl. She probably called her dealer. I'd like to see her phone records on the day that she died. Because there's a drug dealer out there that needs to go to jail because he's selling crap. What a strong lady. She didn't expect that. That was a surprise to everybody. She had her life in order. This wasn't on the menu. This wasn't in the plans. This wasn't in the cards. And nothing could stop her. But the drug addiction creeped under the door. And she thought, maybe I'll take one last hit of cocaine, no one will know. But there was fentanyl laced, and she didn't know. And she went into cardiac arrest, and she died of a heart attack right here. And that's all it takes, one time. And that's how strong fentanyl is. It's an epidemic. It's killing people. It's designed to take people out. And it took her out. But unknowingly, because she thought it was one thing and the, the dealer, the drug dealer delivered another. The housekeeper went into the bedroom and they found her unresponsive. And Danny Kehoe was trying to revive her with CPR. And they called the paramedics. The paramedics arrived. And they got a pulse. And they transported her to the West Hills Hospital where they pronounced her dead. But she died here. She died here of a fentanyl overdose. Just like so many other people. She thought she was copping cocaine. And fentanyl was mixed in. And she didn't know. And she got caught up. Just like everyone else. Unknowing. And then they find her. Cardiac arrest at age 54. That's a drug overdose. That's a fentanyl drug overdose. The paramedics came in six minutes, which is an incredible response time. Especially all the way up in the hills here with this gated community. Six minute response time is unbelievable. Hats off to the fire department and the paramedics.
How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm, run, I'm trying to do a, a story, uh, a YouTuber, mm -hmm. and I wanted to take a picture of a home. So, well, we, we can't do that. You can't help me out? Yeah, I can't, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, because Lisa Marie Presley, uh, I don't remember if she was renting a home. I can't even say anything. You don't remember? So there's nothing I can do? Yeah, I wish I could help you, man, because I, I get it, man. I mean, it's uh, information, you know, that people yeah. want to see. Okay, guys, as you can see, I can't get in. He's not letting me in, guys. He's not letting me in. I tried. This is all we're going to get for today. When the paramedics came, they got a pulse. They transported her over to the West Hills Hospital where she was pronounced dead. And I'm gonna take you over there now. Let's continue. Okay guys, I'm here at the West Hills Hospital and this is where Lisa Marie Presley was brought and they tried to revive her but she had her second heart attack and her family signed a waiver, do not resuscitate. So she was pronounced dead that day, right here. Lisa Marie was married four times. Her first marriage was to Danny Kehoe, where she had her two children, which was Elvis Presley's first two grandchildren. Then she married Michael Jackson, and then Nicolas Cage, and then guitar player Michael Lockhart, where she had the two twin girls. When she was buried, she was buried in Memphis, Tennessee at Graceland, right across from Elvis, right next to her son, Benjamin Kehoe. And it's just a shame because her career was on an upswing. She was finally coming into her own, you know, as a mom and as a person. I really truly believe that and the sky would have been the limit for her. The future would have been incredible. The future was bright and now we'll never know. We will never know. The world will never know what it could have been like. As of today, May 19th, 2023, Lisa Marie Presley's cause of death is undetermined. The Los Angeles Medical Examiner's Office deferred, deferred the final autopsy, deferred the final conclusion, which means they need more time to determine what the cause of death was. They need to do more studies and more investigation which to me means there's a police investigation which confirms my belief that she died of a fentanyl overdose. After Lisa Marie's untimely death, she left her Elvis Presley Graceland estate worth a hundred million dollars to her three daughters. Riley Kehoe from her first marriage 
and the two daughters, the two little girls, the twins, and Priscilla Presley, Elvis Presley's wife and the mother of Lisa Marie Presley has filed a petition in court to try to overturn Lisa Marie Presley's decision. But Riley Kehoe is standing up for the girls' rights in court. And that was Lisa Marie Presley's final wishes. So the three girls will end up with Elvis Presley's estate in Graceland, Memphis, Tennessee. Rest in peace to Elvis Presley's only child, Lisa Marie Presley. You will be truly missed. Rest in peace. That's gonna do it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give it an old thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and share it with a friend if possible. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. TVG.